Ladies and gentlemen, apparently I am fat phobic. I am fat phobic. You are you, and I am Vincent Buddha 2.0, the fat phobe. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel. I am Vincent Buddha, Vincent Buddha 2.0. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you believe it? You heard it in the intro. I guess I'm a fat phobe. I am fat phobic. I am somehow scared of fat people and I'm scared of myself. I don't know how. I'm in the 330s, so I am considered extremely obese. I'm six foot zero inches and somehow I am a fat phobe. Can someone please explain this to me? How am I, an obese individual, a fat phobe? Please explain. Well, we're going to look at a video today and we're going to see where I'm coming from, what I mean. So please stick around to the end. This is crazy. Culture has gone completely out of control and it's hurting people. So stick around for that. Hey, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, but especially if you've been here for a very long time and you've been watching more than two videos, I'm gonna say hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. 70% or more of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed, so go ahead, put a subscription. I am on a journey, I am on a goal to 1,000 subscribers, and when we get there, when we get there, I am gonna do something amazing. I'm gonna do something extravagant. So hit that subscribe button. We have, at this point, 71 subscribers. So press that subscribe button, share with other Manjaro influencers, Ozempic influencers, health and fitness influencers. I have now lost over 60 pounds, over 50 pounds on Manjaro, and things are going amazing. So, back to the main issue. I'm fat phobic. How am I fat phobic? And what does fat phobic even mean? Well, I'm gonna to explain to you what a phobia is, so let's take a look at it. A phobia is a persistent, excessive, unrealistic fear of an object, person, animal, activity, or situation. It is a type of anxiety disorder. A person with a phobia either tries to avoid the thing that triggers the fear or endures it with great anxiety and distress. Some phobias are very specific and limited. Let me give you an example from my own life. I have a phobia toward needles. However, I take, I used to take testosterone replacement therapy. I've been off it for a couple weeks now and I had to get over needles. I had to give myself a needle. Even when my wife would give it to me, I would be afraid, I would be scared. I would be like, I can't do this, I can't do this. The first time I gave myself testosterone replacement therapy, I don't know how long it was, but I think it was somewhere between five to 15 minutes where I was just sitting in this seat and I didn't know what to do, okay? And it took me about five to 15 minutes to actually jab myself and put it in. So I have a phobia against needles. I also still do have a bad phobia with bees. I am told, even though I don't remember, I am told that I was stung by a bee when I was two years old. I do not remember it. However, I believe that phobia set in at the age of two and I am 37 today and I can tell you definitely and clearly that I am still afraid of bees. I was sorely afraid when I heard the death hornets were coming on its way in 2020. So I am afraid of bees. I have three children and a wife and when the bee comes around, even though I'm filled with anxiety, even though I'm filled with this fear that doesn't make sense, I protect my family or at least try to. But when I am by myself, you best believe I'm running away like a scared little boy or girl. Ah! And now we have people that are telling us in our culture that we have a phobia against fat people. Check out this crazy video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Recent TikTok video from wellness coach Ashantis Jones where she uh, non-judgmentally explains that anyone who tries to lose weight is a fat phobic bigot. Listen. 
Another great question this person is asking if there is any time in which intentional weight loss is not fat phobic. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the times, if you are intentionally losing weight, it is fat phobic. I'm leaving that point little zero one percent in case I am truly, truly wrong, but I don't think I am. This is a health coach, a health coach, and a health coach just told the world that if you intentionally choose to lose weight to be healthy, that you are fat phobic and it's 99.9%. That is 0.1% away from 100%, so pretty much it is just about 100%. So that makes me a fat phobe according to what this health coach has just said. I'm not sure if she's a health coach and a health therapist. This is ridiculous. This is the type of craziness that's being preached in our world. Do you know that this is very detrimental to people's health? I am a fat person. I am an extremely obese person. I was at one time over 405 pounds and now I am in the 330s and I am still fat. But when I was at 405 pounds, I was dealing with so many issues. And all these issues were making me unhealthy. Number one, I was physically unhealthy. I couldn't move well. Even when I sat down, I, I, I did not feel well. I felt tired all the time. I was sore and achy all the time. I did not even sometimes want to live. It was even not just physically hurting me. I would have headaches every day. I would feel horrible. And so to be that fat is healthy? No, I'll tell you from my point of view and other people that I have talked to, that is not healthy. I then, not just physically unhealthy, okay, because all my insides were also unhealthy, my testosterone shut down, okay? I had 123 level of free testosterone in me and it is healthy to have a 300 to 1000 in that area. So not only physically, I couldn't do physical activities. I couldn't play sports which I love to do. I couldn't play with my kids on the floor and do some roughhousing with them. I couldn't do sports with them. I couldn't do these things. Th my, my health, my lack of health was holding me back. And I'm sorry, I'm so passionate about this, but this, this, this is pretty much a, this is, this is a philosophy that is going out into our world and telling people it's okay to be fat. It's okay to be obese. It is not, it is not. Most people, if not all people, that are overweight and obese are not healthy. Not at all. It not only was um, physically hurting me, it was also mentally hurting me. It was mentally hurting me. I had an anxiety disorder. I had depression most days during the week and most hours of the day. And it was because of the food that I was eating and it was because of the state of my physical health. It's not good. It's not good coming from a fat person right here. It wasn't good. Not just physically, not just mentally, it was also hurting me spiritually. I was going, I'm a pastor, I'm a Christian pastor, and I was going into gluttony, okay? I was, I was delving into gluttony and overeating, and that is a sin. That is a 100% sin, and people overlook it, but my spiritual health was waning. It really was. When I got that in check and I wasn't overeating, my mind was clear. I wasn't giving into the temptation anymore of overeating. This is ridiculous coming from a fat person. I'm telling you right now, there's no such thing as fat phobia unless you're scared of someone that they're going to crush you or suffocate you or they're going to beat you up because they're fat. No, this is, this is, this is craziness. And I'm going to give you a fourth thing, a fourth reason why being unhealthy, being fat is unhealthy.
And losing weight is a healthy thing. I was also suffering socially because I did not like the way I looked. In church, in my home church where I pastor, I'm the lead pastor, I would hate going up to preach. I did not look forward to it. I love the Word of God. I love studying the Word of God. I love preaching. But because of how I looked, I did not want to go in front of everyone. I did not want to be presented and I knew I was being a bad witness to my congregants and I did not feel well. And that made me more depressed, that made me more anxious, and that also caused me not to have as many friends or as many closer relationships with people in my church and my family because I did not like the way I looked. So it hurt me socially as well. And if we say and we think and we listen to this and we say, you know what? It is not healthy. It is um it is fat phobic. Um, you're going against how people truly are. Let me tell you how we were born into this world. And I don't know if you're a Christian or you're a person of faith, but I'll tell you what, what we were born into sin because of Adam and Eve. We were born into sin. So we were born sinful. We were born not the way we needed to be. So if you stay just the way you are, it's not enough. It's not enough. And there's this movement out there that says you are enough. That you don't have to do anything to yourself. You are enough and you should love yourself. Self-love. But I'll tell you what, because we were born into sin, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because you were born into sin, there are things that you need to change. But you can't change them on your own. You need a savior. You need a helper. You need a hero. And that is Jesus. And that's why he died on the cross and rose from the dead for us. That's why he sent the Holy Spirit to us. And all we need to do is believe and repent and we will be saved. And then he could start working on us. The Holy Spirit could start working on us from the inside out. And that's what I believe the Holy Spirit is doing in me. I'm sorry to get spiritual on you. But like I said, my spiritual health has gotten better since I lost weight. I'm over 60 pounds down from 405 to the 330s. And I'm feeling great. And mentally, I'm there. Spiritually, I'm there. Physically, I'm getting there. Socially, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm a shy person, naturally. But I can't stay like I am. I am not enough. He is enough. And he's going to help me. I don't even want to go on. But let's see what else she has to say in this video. But I don't think I am. And here's the reason why. I'm not saying if you exercise and happen to lose weight, that that is fat phobic. I'm not saying if you start a medication and you happen to lose weight, that is fat phobic. I am not saying that if you're going through any type of, you know, illness and that is altering your body in some way, that that is fat phobic. I'm saying when you are intentionally exercising to lose weight, altering your diet to lose weight, doing any activity intentionally to lose weight is fat phobic. And the reason why is because you are intentionally attempting to make your body smaller to fit into what narrative? The narrative that smaller is healthier, even though we've already discussed why that's not true. Oh, well, thank God. I am almost speechless, but I cannot be speechless. If you intentionally lose weight to be healthier, to be smaller, then that is fat phobic. That is what this health coach has said. That is what this health therapist has said. I'm sorry, but this is a lie. And we have to, we have to say that this is a lie. This is not the truth. Um, this is a lie from the pits of hell, okay? That you should stay fat because fat is healthy. Now, I'll tell you, ever since from 35 and under, I've been overweight or obese. And whenever I go to the doctor, sometimes I did have hypertension as I got up there, but everything else was fine. Um, but I needed to lose weight because the doctor said, as you get older, you're going to get unhealthy, okay? And this is not the healthiest thing for you. And I, I, I always tried to lose weight. I always tried to be healthier, but it was very hard for me. And then by the age of 36, 37, uh, I couldn't lose weight anymore because I had prediabetes. This is why I was put on Manjaro for prediabetes. And Manjaro was helping me in my A1C, my blood sugar levels, but also in losing weight as well because it slows down digestion, which is great. And so now I am 
over 60 pounds down and I'm feeling amazing. Now, this is not the best that I could feel. I don't wanna stay in the 300s. I want to be in the 200s. And I wanna set the record straight. She's lying. I don't know what is behind her lying about these things. And it seems like this is the culture today that you need to be who you are and you need to be your, your authentic self. I think authenticity is a good thing. I think honesty is a good thing. But I will be honest with you and I will be authentic to you. When I was extremely obese and I am still extremely obese, I was not happy. I was not healthy. I needed to lose weight. And because I'm saying these things, the culture will tell you that I'm fat phobic. But I'll tell you what, that's not a phobia. I'm not scared of myself. I'm not scared of other fat people. But let's pose the question. Do healthy size people that are around their BMI that they should be, are they scared of fat people? No, but I think there is a dislike. I think we should love fat people. I think we should love obese people, but there is a dislike as in when you go to the airport, would you rather sit next to someone that's closer to their healthy BMI or someone that is 30 to 40% over their, their, their BMI? What, what would you say about that? I would even tell you that I am not at a healthy BMI and I do not want to sit next to another big person. It's because you have less room. It's not because I hate them. It's because you have less room and it's going to be a less comfortable ride. If you saw this big man, okay, coming your way down the aisle on an airplane, what would you be saying? I hope he's not sitting next to me. I hope he's not sitting next to me. And you know what? If that hurts my feelings, that's really my own fault. It's really my own fault that I am this big. Now, at a certain point, I couldn't lose weight. And thank God for medications like Manjaro, Ozempic, Wegovi that are helping people that it's harder to lose weight to lose weight. So hopefully one day you'll see me coming down the aisle and say, you know what? I don't care if that person sit next to me because that person is at a healthy BMI. Just to close this out today, I don't think there's anything, any, I don't think most people most people are not fat phobic, even if you're against fat people, okay? Even if you don't like fat people, you're not fat phobic, you just don't like fat people, okay? Because you think that they're lazy, you think that they should lose weight but aren't lose weight, but I'll tell you what, there are people out there for you, for you that are healthy or a healthy weight, I'll tell you right now, some overweight, obese people, it's hard for them to lose weight. They have food addictions, they have cravings that are very, very hard to overcome. So we should have a heart for them. That is totally 100% correct. I know when I turned 36, it was very hard for me to lose weight and I had to get help. I had to work with my endocrinologist. I had to work with my doctors and thank God for a medication like Manjaro. I'm not a lazy person. I've lost 80 pounds three times in my life and then I gained it all back. However, now I'm looking at this medication as something that's going to help me for a lifetime and I want to keep off my weight. I need to lose about 150 to 200 pounds. That's what I need to lose. So let's just wrap it all up here and say, listen, those of you that are saying we're fat phobic, people that don't like fat people that are saying to lose weight and to be healthy, you need to stop. That is not the truth. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people that are coming against this. People like Coach Greg on YouTube, people like Ruslan um, on uh, Ruslan KD and, and Bless God channel. I, I, I watch him, I'm subscribed, I'm on his Patreon, all that stuff. And listen, you need to know that coming from a fat person, I, when I look at fat people, I sometimes think the same thing, that they're lazy, they need to lose weight, even if you're, o especially if you're over 400 pounds. But I was there. It's hard to lose weight because we're craving so much, but you can do it. You can do it. I wanna give you that motivation that you can do it. I'm doing it and if you need help, get on one of these medications. I don't know what the, the long span health benefits and non-benefits are. However, this is something that can truly help you. You gotta talk to your doctor. I am not a doctor. Talk to your doctor about these things and it could truly help you, but I'm in the gym. I am walking my dog three times a day for 15 minutes each, 45 minutes a day. I am eating the right things. I'm taking my protein. I'm making sure I have the high protein diet. You need to work with Manjaro for it to work. I know this was a heavy subject today, but thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Please let me know what you think about this subject, about fat phobia. I don't think we should treat 
people of a bigger size differently. However, they need to know that that is unhealthy and at a certain point in life, you're going to die an early death. You don't see many people that are 70, 80, 90 years old that are extremely obese. We need to get our health in check and this culture that is saying that being fat is healthy is totally wrong. You are you and I am Vincent Buddha 2.0. Hey, don't go anywhere. I have two more videos for you on the sides here. They're especially picked for you. Pick one of them. See you later.